ever wanted all your wimpy kid books laid out and ranked? Well, it's your lucky day, because Book Western is here to do it. Well, hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today, I as aforementioned, I have all the Wimpy Kid books till the Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. And today, we are gonna rank which Wimpy Kid book is the best. Let's get right on to it. My most favorite Wimpy Kid book is actually Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Book one, which is this book. Let me take it out. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I love this book because it was so fresh. The concept and the thing, the the sarcasm, the humor, it was like completely fresh and new. It's like you haven't seen this humor before. And that's what made the Diary of the Wimpy Kid so special. Because we hadn't known that an author could write so much like an angry teenage kid. And this book showed us that any book, given the right potential, any author, can write like a sarcastic little kid. And it really made you think about what's going to happen in middle school. And you, you could really understand the character if you're in middle school which is because you're going through middle school yourself. The thing is, everything, every single part of Greg's personality is shown in the first few sentences of the book. Tuesday, September. First of all, let me get something straight. This is a journal, not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her to get one that didn't say diary on it. Great! All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. And, and the other thing I want to clear up right away is that this is mom's idea, not mine. That, in one second, shows that Jeff Kinney is an excellent author who can think like a kid and make his character more real life than real life. And that's why this book is rank one. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, book one. Book one, rank one. Quite a sarcastic thing, isn't it? Iron, it's ironic. Probably the second favorite book is probably the Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. That will be this book, thank you. I love this book because it real I really could understand Greg's annoyance. Because a car trip, road trip, I really hate car trips and road trips, especially long ones, like three or four hours. Because I can't stand a long time in cars. I love wide open spaces with fresh forest air. And Greg kind of understands that because he hates being cramped up in the car. Also, he gets, I get cars up pretty easy, easily. And I, if I recall, I think he did too. And I really could understand Greg. Also, a lot of funny and ridiculous and fresh problems. Problems that you couldn't even imagine if you wanted to. Came out in this great book, The Long Haul, which is why I have it in second place. I'd say third, I would say these three books would have all together third. Cabin Fever, Dog Days, and Old School. These three books were also very awesome and they each suggested a problem that is possible yet impossible. Also, it really Dog Days really showed a person's desire. A kid's desire that you wanted a dog. Cabin fever. Cabin fever showed showed you how easily a child can misunderstand things, and also how a little misunderstanding can cause the child a lot of stress. 
old school shows us how many kids in the world are addicted to smartphones and games and how only a week of not using of not using technology could literally put these dudes in panic mode. These three would have the together third place and yeah. Hey, you might be wondering and you probably are why these books and these books are cut by my delicious sword, my awesome sword. Why? Um, otherwise, other than that, that these are hardcover, these are new, and these are paperback. The thing is, Diary of the Wimpy Kid was more classic, more interesting. These books, the first 10 books were extremely new and interesting. And as the time flows, Double Down wasn't bad. The Getaway wasn't bad either. Meltdown was actually kind of fun. The Wrecking Ball wasn't as good as any of the other books. You see, it really didn't present an interesting funny problem. Impossible yet possible problem. Possible yet impossible problem that the Diary of the Wimpy Kid has presented throughout the series. That is why these books are worse than the first 10 books. And going in, I would say that the third reel the third wheel hard luck the law and the ugly truth would have would take fourth that's because these books are at the very least better than the books that's right here that's right under them and they really showed interest and i really loved hard luck mostly because of the magic eight ball at that time i really wished i had one because it sounded like a fun thing to play with and Greg actually like worshipped the ball, so that's something. And it was really all these three had the old humor, and it still was fresh. It just wasn't as funny, as fun, as great and epic as the books that I have previously shown you. In ones, in first, second, and third. And finally, we are over the sword. And I, I don't remember where these ones, I'm just gonna print like that. And these four. I would say that Double Down, the Getaway, and the Meltdown was not bad, pretty good, but not as good as these books at the very least. So they have a together fifth. Because they all present a new and interesting, impossible yet possible, problems that is super funny and would make you laugh and end up on the floor with milk coming out of your nostrils sorry if you imagined that anyway so double down get away the meltdown they were good they were good but just the humor was getting a little old and it wasn't as good that's all i'm saying no offense at all to jeff kinney he's an epic awesome author and the final for the least Last but least, actually least, <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wrecking Ball, the last, I mean the newest book in the series, which coincidentally is probably the lowest rank. And the reason for this is, is that Wrecking Ball, it was good I guess, it wasn't bad, but humor was just getting old it's like you have a plastic spoon and you you use it over and over again at first it's shiny it's good and then as you use it as you use it more and more it gets stra scratched beaten up and soon you just want to use a new plastic spoon and you know what happens to the old spoon so that was it guys that was the ranking of all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And these books have the power to make you laugh in the most depressing situations. I just wanted to rank them. And like always, your book quester, Aram the book quester. Well, I bet you guys always wanted ranked. Well, here it is, and enjoy.